Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out how you can install 5PD audio with a dispatch audio add-on for 5PD, which is absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and take a look how you can install this. So pretty much what this does is it adds a dispatch announce when you are actually uh, typing or like getting a call out, which is pretty cool. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and download this file, press agree and download and get the latest version. So the latest version seems to be 2.0 download 2.0 you'll see it's downloading down here so this is assuming you already have your 5pd and 5m server set up so make sure you have this already this is a client this is a server side script not client side so make sure you have this set up already this is for like server admins and stuff if you just want this uh, client side there's really no way to do this i don't think so make sure you're server side all right so go ahead and open up the zip file it goes in download you can use winrar 7 zip or whatever you're going to use to open it up it gives you a how to install file which is pretty much a simple drag and drop and add it to your server.cfg file but we'll go over that right now you can see there's a server audio thing in here so all you have to do is go to your server data folder make sure you already have the setup once again by creating your 5pd server go to resources and then in here you're going to drag in the 5pd audio into this resource folder here go to your server data folder once again go back to server.cfg file press edit with notepad plus plus and just add at the bottom ensure or start depending on what you're doing 5pd audio just like that go ahead and save that close it start your server and one thing we're going to look for when we're starting the server is making sure it actually started up correctly and you can see started resource 5pd audio and 5pd loaded up fine so we know everything is good to go we can go ahead and hop in and check out our server audio it was that simple drag and drop and then start your 5m and see what happens very very simple thank you to the author for making it this simple really helps out newer players and stuff who just want to get started so we're going to go ahead and log into 5p here and make sure everything is working how we want it to work and we get the audio when we play it what's really cool about this resource which i actually haven't had time to hook into yet is developers for callouts can add audio through this um extra resource which is pretty cool so you can play custom audio and stuff i may end up doing that to my callouts in the future but i haven't decided yet uh, we will see depending on how many people ask me in the comments of this video to add it to our call out. So if you want that, let me know and I'll be happy to look into it, maybe making a second version for those who want the call out uh, audio or those who don't want the call out audio. So we'll figure that all out, which is pretty cool. All right. So we're loading in here. That's pretty much all I could say. Uh, just waiting to load in to, oh, I, here's the thing. So a lot of people have been asking me recently, how do you force a call out? Well, there's something you have to do. You have to be a server admin and you have to be an MDT admin. And we'll go over those in a future video. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and go on duty and we're going to see if this works. So the second I go on duty, it actually worked. But I just realized you can't hear it because I have audio off. There you go. Okay, so if I go ahead and go on duty again, and I'm going to go ahead and go into the debug menu, press force call out. So you can hear that. So as, um, oh, it's going again. So you can see it's saying respond code three, respond code two. I hope that audio is loud enough for you to hear, but that is how you set this up. You can see it's working on all the calls, which is pretty cool. I actually like having that in the server, um, because it makes it more realistic and all of that stuff. So make sure to check it out if you haven't already. Hopefully you heard that well, but that's all you have to do. Drag and drop install, get in your server and it's all working how it should be. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Noodles and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Sorry about the short video. I know it's Friday and it's a pretty tiring day. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.